Hey you guys, today I'm going to be sharing one of our very favorite subscription boxes with you all. Um, I'm going to be doing unboxings of Knowledge Crate's mini crates for their space crate and their sensory crate. Last year we tried so many different subscription boxes because we kind of just wanted to try a little bit of everything and see what the kids enjoyed the most and knowledge crates has been one of our absolute favorites um the mini crates are affordable they keep my kids busy for hours they're always fun and entertaining and educational as well so i'm gonna turn around the camera and show you guys what's inside to see if maybe you would be interested in trying out one of these crates as well so let's get to it all right you guys so the first one that we're gonna unbox is their sensory crate so it starts with a thank you note, which is really sweet. I'm trying to open it carefully just so I can put everything back after. All right, and then you get a, bo or a book called How Full Is Your Bucket for Kids? It's a scholastic book like that. You get some neon colored play sand there is some foam dough with different colors. There's a fun little pack of spoons and some wooden knives, some of the little like picker upper things, <laughs> some little wooden people, I don't know the appropriate name for it. A little mini rolling pin, a little scoop. This is fun, my, my son will love this. Uh, some rainbow water beads that you put in water and then they expand, these are really fun. There's some little cups. There's some jumbo water beads. Those will be fun. There's some different colored rice. This is really, really cool. <laughs> this is pretty heavy too. There is some different colored Play-Doh packs. You get four different colors. And then here is their activity guide. Uh, so you get the rainbow water beads, the jumbo water beads, the rainbow rice, kinetic sand, rainbow dough, and foam dough. And then it says inside this crate, you will find a children's book that focuses on the area of social and emotional, along with six different sensory experiences and a variety of tools to explore. There's no particular place to start, so just dive right in. That's really nice. And um, if one of the things that's also really nice too is if you've gotten any of Knowledge Crate's previous boxes where it comes with like the little figures and stuff, uh, you can easily like put those in here and then, you know, just keep using them and kind of reduce, reuse, recycle, that whole thing where you just kind of find new uses for it. So that'll be really fun. So now we're going to jump to the next box. The only thing that I do want to note while I'm putting everything away is that um, in order to fit this book into the box, they did have to bend it a little bit. So if you're, I mean, it might, I'll just have to kind of fold it and let it set somewhere like that for a while to see if I can bend it back. Um, that's not a huge problem for me. And look, even just that five seconds in bending, it really kind of started to straighten it, but I did want to mention it just in case that might bother some of you. <laughs> so that way you know um, ahead of time that some of the books might be a little bent, but depending on the book, it might just go easily back with some bending on its own. All right, and now we're gonna be unboxing their space crate. I am really, really excited about this one, you guys. My uh, oldest son loves anything, oops, oopsie <laughs> he loves anything um galaxy and space related so i think that this would even be a really great box to get if you're going to be doing some kind of space unit study so there's their thank you note and a very large blue star is it a sticker or is it just cardstock i think it's just cardstock that's cute. Oh, it's, it feels like a beautiful feet books book, you guys. Oh, it's so soft. Okay, so this is Bella the Scientist Goes to Outer Space. That'll be a fun book to read. Oh, here's a constellation stick kit with um, some little toothpicks and marshmallows. That'll be really fun. Here is some Play-Doh sand. 
or some play sand. And there is a salt ice moon kit. That sounds fun. Oh, cool. Here's some, um, I'm guessing for the play sand, there's like some little um, toys and things to play with inside of it. And there's some bonus art materials. There's jumbo space orbs. That'll be fun. Ooh, a galaxy pen. Oh my gosh, he's going to love this. This is going to be so fun. And then a dry erase marker. Ah, here is a little notepad that he can write in. Oh, this is really cool. They're little constellation stars, so it talks about what a constellation is. Oh, and then it gives you names of the different constellations and what they look like. This is going to be really cool. I want to eventually um, jump into a space unit study with them, so this will be really fun, um, a, a really fun resource to work into that when we start that. That's really cool. And then there are some activity cards, so there's Read With Me. There's exploring constellations and the things that you're going to need. Adventures in journaling. Some space sensory um, items. A solar system journal. That'll be fun. Ooh, space yoga. That sounds fun. And then a salt ice moon. Oh, my kid's going to love this. Okay. So now there is a solar system journal that's already made. And then it goes over the different planets and then the crust and outer core, inner core. So that's pretty cool. And just the different parts. Research and write three interesting facts about Neptune and Pluto. That's really fun. And then there is a um, word box where it's fill in the blanks. Here are some promotional items. Here are some space stickers and black constellation paper for one of the projects. The space yoga um, sheet to tell you what yoga moves to do. And then a story map. I actually really like that they have this story map. I need to utilize these more because writing is not my son's favorite thing. But I feel like if he could break it up like this, that might actually really help kind of spark his creativity with writing stories. So um, I think that this will be a really great thing to use, just even in like our regular language arts program when he starts writing and things like that. So that is it for this box. I'm going to turn around the camera and chat with you guys. All right, you guys, so that is everything that is inside the sensory and space mini crates from Knowledge Crate. If you want to check them out, I will link their website down below. Um, at the time of recording, if you use that link, I believe you get $10 off your first box. So go check it out if you are interested at all. These are such fun fun subscription boxes you guys and not just that but like even if you don't want to try it for your own kids these make amazing gifts for other children so if you have like birthday parties and things like that coming up these are just wonderful presents to give and um my kids have just really really enjoyed them and so have i because they're entertained for hours on end <laughs> and so um it's just been really fun and then i love it too because depending on any unit studies and things like that that you have coming up they have such a wide variety of mini crates like they have um you know, at the time of filming this, they have a farm mini crate, they have the space mini crate. They just have all of these different wonderful fun crates that you can work into any type of learning that you have going on in your homeschool. And so that's one of the reasons why they've been my favorites. So let me know down below, what is your favorite subscription box to use in your homeschool? I would love to check out some more. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and I'll see you again later, bye. 